What's going on guys and welcome to another Bow Disciples video. Today we got another review for you. Doing a few more reviews this year because uh, I think they're valuable and help people make a good advised decision when it comes time to purchase a new part for their bow or a new bow. So today I'm reviewing this tight spot two-piece quiver. It's called the Pivot 2.5 uh, that I run by tight spot and I've ran it ever since I got this Bowtech SR350 which has probably been a little over a year now and I've had thousands of arrows through it so I have a pretty in-depth review I can offer and hopefully you guys find value in it. First let's start off with the things that I like about this quiver and probably the number one thing is I think it looks really aesthetic. I think it's a cool looking quiver. Uh, it's got like the carbon in here. It's got a lot of adjustment as far as the angle you can run it at which I think is pretty sleek. If you're gonna have a bow and it can look good, why not? So that's definitely an aspect I like. Secondly, and it's a small thing, but the foam pads that they run in this quiver are much better than in the tight spot one piece quivers I've had in the past. So that's really nice as well. The arrows, they're, they're actually pre-cut for broadheads and I shoot expandables, shoot rage, and they fit just fine in this uh, quiver padding without being deployed, which is super nice. It's something I've struggled with in the past with some other quivers. Another thing is you can adjust the tightness of your arrows and how snug they fit in here. But one thing I love is how quietly the arrows pop in and out of the quiver as well as super easily. Those are a handful of my favorite things about this tight spot two piece quiver. In addition, I like how tight it sits to the bow. I notice it sits probably at least a half inch closer to my bow than the one piece version did. Uh, so I think that's pretty cool. Keeps the bow really in line and uh, that's something I like about it. It sits right on top of the ham ski and uh, actually protects the limb driven string too going down to the limb. So that's something else that uh, I think is a built in cool feature. As far as the negative, uh, the main one I have is I have seen even if it's buttoned down, I tend to get a little movement out of this top piece. It tends to like want to shift and I have to move it back a little bit. Uh, and lastly, and my biggest negative about this, is you cannot take this quiver on and off with like a quick release system whereas I could with the one piece and because we have a bow carrier on the Polaris Ranger and we go on hunts with it a lot of times the bows going in and out of the case and since I've switched to this quiver I'm no longer able to use uh, that case so that's a little bit of a bummer and probably my main negative for this quiver other than that I'm a fan and I enjoy it. So I might go back to the one piece just for that simplicity of pulling it on and off really quickly. But that's not because I dislike this one. It's just because I really like being able to take something on and off really fast. To me, that's a really big feature. So that's my unbiased, fairly long term review of the Tight Spot 2.5 Pivot two piece quiver. And I hope you guys found value in it and enjoyed it. If you haven't, be sure to subscribe. We're really pushing subscribers this year. And we also just launched our big 3D shoot, the Bow Disciples Challenge, held at Lake Henshaw here in San Diego County. And you can get all the information on it on bowdisciples.com. And we hope to see you guys there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Wow, deputy, deputy.